as a teacher, it's, I think, the, to work with the, not just SEN children, with like all the children, the most important skill is to be organized. Yeah, that's uh, important. That's, for me, that's the, the top. Organized, to be calm, creative, so, adapt, the, adapt the general lesson to meet the, like every child's needs, mm -hmm. to meet her, her educational needs. And so do you think uh, the core skills are the same for working with all children or working with child with complex learning difficulties as with the others? Uh, well, you, I think you need more skills to work with ADN children. Mm -hmm. so you need more creativity, more uh, talent in the planning and adapting because the lesson, you deliver in the lesson, but for that child it has to be, you have to provide uh, uh, other way to deliver that lesson. Oh, that's very good. Have you received yeah. any specific training about the need of your child with complex learning difficulties before and during the pandemic? Well, uh, to be honest, in, in my school, we had, we all had, as a teachers, we all had this training, like with, uh, for, uh, special needs training, but it's not something linked with this, this specific child that I have. Um, some teachers had like autistic um, training in autism. I had some training in communication and uh, speech, like speech language, but not, not so because I had the child. decision about this training or the provision uh, providing this training. Who's getting the decision? Is it you who's asking for it or Senko or who? Exactly. Uh, it, it, it's the, the thing, but uh, sometimes, like, uh, you you do ask for, especially when you're struggling with something and you want to make sure, you, not to, you are doing the right thing, sometimes you, it doesn't matter what you try in, in the book, so you feel like you need more, more support, you need more knowledge, you need more help, and you ask. For some training, for certain training, can I have this training? Can so I have this training? Do you me? think that the think trainings that you've got are sufficient to develop the particular knowledge and skills needed for including specifically this child with complex needs and, and uh, difficulties? Um, to be honest, I would love to go for like uh, more training with autism. Because the, even I had I had one, but it was like a basic, basic. I would love to have a training, uh, like for this specific child and the need that she had. What CPD are available in this regard for you, if any, uh, during and uh, before and during the pandemic, please? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, what what uh, continuing uh, professionals uh, professional development? and support, if any, are available to you as a teacher and all of you uh, before and during the pandemic. Is any CPD available for you? Is it like just now with this, with, for this special, uh, for this, for this special child or, or in general? In general. Um, and for this child as well. So like if I can have both sides. The, the problem going, uh, I think, for the before, uh, with my experience in this school, I used to have, like, specialists come in, like, say, at least two times per term to discuss the, any concern, to, to have that little meeting. And for now, because of what's going on and the, the pandemic, I like, um, you just email sometimes, you email somebody and you don't get enough from just that email to support you. You mm -hmm. need to have that, uh, face to face or like, uh, or I would love to some more like to come and observe the child and because sometimes I raise the concern but I don't get any help about it. So oh, yeah. I end up dealing with it myself. Oh, that's good. Are you aware of any support online? Uh, um, so, if so, what uh, what source do you access, or uh, if you found it um, helpful or no? So, sorry, the support online. Yeah, are you aware about any support online 
because uh, you, you talk about um, need of that observation, somebody to come and observe, uh, do observation for you on, or help you. Uh, yeah. I think before the pandemic, there is outreach teacher. Is something that I would like to ask about yeah. if you are receiving. Yeah. Before the pandemic, we used to have, like, for example, it's not just when I raise the concerns. I the think or uh, where she used to come and observe the child and make uh, and see what's going on and talk and see the planning, uh, check uh, what uh, what I'm what how I'm helping that child in the classroom and tell me if something I need to add to that or not. At the moment, I can say, like, from the beginning of the year, I still did not have that at all. And what about online support? Um, I'm not gonna lie. So this year I didn't. Yeah, I get really want the reality. <laughs> yes, I'm not. I didn't get. I, I am like the, at the moment. It is like overwhelming in mm -hmm. the in the classroom, mm -hmm. and also in two weeks I'm gonna have the other twenty nine children coming back to class, and then mm -hmm. it's, it is overwhelming when you have everybody and you have to because the other children as well they have other needs i know they don't have their um, their statements as like uh, mm -hmm. but they, this one. I, I have that yeah but as a teacher i can tell that a lot of them probably in the next year they might get they might get that that, that plan for them so uh, for that sometimes i need more help and there is no time to yeah definitely a lot of go pressure. online and search uh, stuff for yourself and like yeah and well, is, you have to do it by yourself like if like yeah, school doesn't provide everything. it yeah so could i ask you what strategy are you using with uh, your child with complex learning difficulties and in same time before and during the pandemic because pandemic is here imposing itself yeah. It's uh, the, the the strategy just with the with these children. With this child, yes. Is it different than the strategies that you are using with the other children, or you as you are using same strategy well, for it, children it, with and without SND, and especially with this child with unique needs? I just, one thing I think is working for for uh, all my all the children that I have in my class is a visual timetable. It's like for them they need to walk it. And they need to to know what is going on and uh, what's going to be next. That's the, the visual sign table. And, um, and do you think this strategy is effective enough for this child? Uh, especially, uh, specifically well, this I child? Can tell, it's, it's, uh, I can tell you that uh, the child made a lot of like progress from September to now, but with a uh, with hard work. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you address the issue that is not enough with the hard work, isn't it? it yes, it is like, it is very hard work. Mm -hmm. Overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, how do you organize the class, the classroom, to include your uh, child with complex learning difficulties? Like, um, you just... I mentioned to you yeah. mm -hmm. at the beginning, so... Yeah. At the beginning, she used to have uh, her own space, like uh, a little table with she, this this, this uh, child loves puzzles. So that's the only way to make her engage and calm when she's upset. She she gets upset a lot. And uh, but after that, it's uh, she she has her uh, like uh, group. At the table, they have like five children in each table. For her, it's she's just a normal child. She has a group to work with and mm -hmm. everybody else. So sometimes when she struggles, uh, her LSA is with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she struggles, then she can and distract in others. Like uh, mm -hmm. she, will, she will put her out and take her to that corner, that her own corner, and try to get mm -hmm. her down. Do you have another room and, for, for her or for children uh, with CND? Um, we uh, we have other space and we have another room that we call it it's like sensory room. Mm -hmm. It just for her sometimes when she's when she's very very upset, like uh, uh, the LSA will take her there and try to. What about the four weeks of uh, study in school since the pandemic? 
are they in favor no. of the inclusion of this child or no? Uh, like bubbles, 